everyone, welcome back to Nanabelle Reads Poetry, blah, 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 blah. Hi everyone, welcome back to Danabelle Reads Poetry, the show where I read you poetry. On this episode and the next few episodes, most likely, I will be reading from... Ta-da! My third book, Tears Across the Earth. Let me explain. On the um, actual real thing, this man does not appear. This is my proof copy, so it says not for resale <laughs> anyway i'm so excited to uh finally have this book out it has been seven years of me writing this this book has short stories and poetry there's three sections on poetry and i thought that for this episode i'm gonna read you the first poem on the first section and i'm still not using bookmarks so i'm still <laughs> looking for them. i found it i found it Whew, why is it hot? It's so hot. Okay, this poem is called Glossolalia. Verse 1. In the beginning, I was given words to keep in my mouth. Verse 2. To masticate or suck on else, spit out. Verse 3. I grew up in church. I read the Bible, they smile. Verse 4. Mama and Daddy proud at how I sound. Verse 5. Like a white girl. Verse 6, Mama would threaten if my tongue curled the wrong way. Verse 7, she would say, Hindi ka ba marunong magtagalog? Verse 8, if I say the wrong word. Verse 9, Mama looks down. Verse 10, on other mothers who do not feed their children sharp shards. Bubog. Verse 11, ang Tagalog sa dila ko ay parang bubog. Verse 12, I speak it only when I want to cut through the bullshit. Verse 13, Curse every man who has felt me with tongue. Verse 14, when I wake up, I check inside my mouth, it is still there. Verse 15, it is soft, it is softer. Verse 16, I bite it to make sure. Verse 17, I do not say the wrong word. Verse 18, I'm ashamed for having looked down on those who have forgotten our language. Verse 19, I forget we are all just fighting for survival this way. Verse 20, by biting our tongues or swallowing it. Verse 21, we all want to belong somewhere or to someone. Verse 22, proud I would say, I belong to no one. Verse 23, here are all my tongues. None of them are really mine. When I showed this poem to friends of mine who are not Christian, they were asking like, where's the, where's the uh, index for the superscripts? And I'm like, no, this is how the Bible is, is formatted. So it has verses. And the reason why I did that is because well, one, I was bored. Uh, <laughs> you know, like, I mean, I, I could have floated the lines. Um, I could have done slashes. But then I wanted to kind of find another way. Like, what else can I do to break up a line? And because the poem is called Glossolalia, I thought, ooh, maybe Bible verse form could be interesting. So that was Glossolalia from Tears Across the Earth, my third book. If you feel compelled, please purchase this book. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoy the short stories. I hope you enjoy the poems. I hope you find the connecting thread. So like most poetry books and short story books, all the stories are separate and all the poems are separate, but I kind of placed little Easter eggs in the book. And if you zoom out, there is a bit of a connection. So let me know what you think about the book once you've gotten it and once you've read it, please send me a message. I'm more than happy to be talking about this. Um, and yeah, so I will see you on the next episode. Bye!